Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. We're going to take a look at the Sunday's card. A beautiful day in South Florida. Over $5.6 million in the Rainbow Six carryover. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions. The main track fast, turf course firm, a first race to five furlong sprint on the grass. Starter optional claimer, fillies and mares, three year olds and up. Scratch to four, silver sachet. Scratch to five, yes, Miss Olga. And scratch number seven, Free West. And they're off. From the outside, Cindy Cata begins nicely with Magic Mesa sent out of there to try to get to the lead, and she'll do that. Magic Mesa now leads by a half a length under Edgard Zayas. Cindy Cata is away racing in second, and the trailer is the David Fox pair of blues and silvers on the outside of Must Be Love. They head now to the far turn. Magic Mesa has the lead. Now she's trying to throttle down the speed. She leads it by a length over Blues and Silvers, who's three wide while second. Cindy Cata is back third, and Must Be Love is down inside. The four horses separated by two and a half lengths, and now the pace quickens. Up on the outside, Blues and Silvers puts ahead in front of Magic Mesa, who's back to second. Needs to do a little better from there as they come off the corner. Cindy Cata is third, and Must Be Love into the stretch. Magic Mesa cuts the corner, now rebreaks and has the lead. Blues and Silvers is flat to the boards, and suddenly not gaining. Cindy Cata and Must Be Love on the outside. It's Edgar Zayas and Magic Mesa to win the opener. Magic Mesa wins by three and a half. Up for second was Cindy Cata from Must Be Love third. And Paul Blues and Silvers loom boldly and wound up last in 55 flats. It's number one, uh, Magic Mesa winning this Sunday opener for White Wabbit Racing LLC. Trained by Georgia Navarro. Ridden to victory today by Edgar Zayas. Second race on the fast main track, contested at the seven furlongs claiming event for three-year-olds and up with one scratch in here at number two, in rhythm. And they're up. In the center, Holden Bullets begins nicely. Bar Magic is alongside, but down toward the inside, there's three-part harmony, and Ramsey Zimmerman and three-part harmony come through inside to put ahead in front. CD Gold now moves three wide to challenge, and in between horses is Holden Bullets, a length and a half better than Bar Magic, who settles in fourth, about two and a half behind. Followed by two lengths behind by Mia's Rocket, who's two and a half better than Dream Maestro, and the trailer is long shot Emil. Down the back stretch they go, and Holden Bullets passes the 5 eights ahead in front. Three part harmony counter punches from the inside, second. They're a length and a half better than CD Gold, who spies the top horse as well, third, with Bar Magic riding the inside in fourth. Followed by Mia's Angel, begins to make some headway from fifth now. Five in front of Dream Maestro, and Emil is last, and there's five sixteenths to go. The leader is still Holden Bullets in front by a half a length. That's all for three part harmony. Here comes on the outside to CD Gold moving to challenge. Mia's Angel is around horses and into third. Meanwhile, up front, Holden Bullet's still there. CD Gold continues to chip away on the outside. Mia's Angel is stalled. Dream Maestro rallies from the back as they run for home. It's still Holden Bullet set down for the drive with a length and a half lead. CD Gold flat to the boards and not gaining down the outside. Dream Maestro, then Mia's Angel in three-part harmony. Holden Bullet's drifting out, but well clear. Second on the inside, CD Gold, then Dream Maestro. Holden Bullet's in front. CD Gold second, Dream Maestro third, Mia's Angel was fourth in 122 and three. Number five, Holden Bullet drifts out but still fires a winning salvo for three Diamonds Racing Stables LLC, trained by Louis Oliveros, written a victory today by Carlos Olivero. We'll take a short break and be back for the third race in about a minute. You too can win a life-changing bet with Express Bet's $50,000 Big Bet Sweepstakes. California Code! This time, Express Bet is giving one lucky winner a $50,000 Big Bet on the Preakness. Plus, 52nd place winners will receive $100 to bet the races. Visit ExpressBet.com to learn more and to open an online wagering account today. Express Bet, your way to play. Constitution has won! 
Welcome back. Our third race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. A claiming event for three-year-olds and upward, which have never won three races in life. Scratch number three, Totem Tail. And they're off. Toward the inside, the favorite Jupiter is sent away running, and at the rail, Willie Pay moves to challenge. Forticio comprises the top flight. These three are quickest. They're a length and a half better than Fire Mission, who's two lengths better than on the inside Scottish Coast, and Fiddler's Tango, last of the six as they run around the opening turn. With inside position and the lead, it's Willie Pay in front by a half a length to Jupiter in second. Forticio backs off the speed and races in third now. A length better than Fire Mission, fourth. Fiddler's Tango is inside second last, and Scottish Coast is last and spots the leader five and a half as they run into the back stretch. They run through the opening quarter in 24 and 1, and it's Willie Pay under a long reign from Santiago Gonzalez and leads it by a half a length. In the two path, Jupiter is second, Forticio is third. Fire Mission creeps a bit closer while fourth to the inside Fiddler's Tango is fifth, and Scottish Coast is wide and last and starts to move from the back. They're taking much closer order. There's only three lengths from front to back as they move into the far turn. Willie Pay trying to take them all the way on the front end. Leads it a half a length. Jupiter creeping closer again now second. Forticio is asked to move forward from third with Fiddler's Tango improving toward the rail. Fire Mission calls it an afternoon and Scottish Coast is wide and last. And now the pace quickens. Toward the inside, Willie Pay leads by ahead. Jupiter right alongside second. These two have it to themselves. Four lengths better than Fiddler's Tango third. They're at the top of the stretch. Now Paco goes to work on Jupiter, who's cut loose on the outside. Willie Pay battles back right on the inside in three lengths to Fiddler's Tango. Fire Mission rebids out wide. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Jupiter puts his head in front, and Willie Pay kicks right back. Willie Pay and Jupiter nip and tuck. Nothing between them. Here's the wire photo finish. Really, really close there. Willie Pay dead game inside of Jupiter on the outside in 142 flat. Number one, Willie Pay crossed the wire first, but was disqualified for knocking the number two Jupiter off stride during the stretch run. Put up the first was number two Jupiter, owned by Northwest Stud Stables, trained by Giuseppe Ayacidernia, and ridden a victory today by Paco. Lopez. Fourth race, seven furlongs on the main track, maiden claiming event for maiden fillies and mares, three year olds and upward, no scratches or jockey chairs. To report. And they're off. From the outside, Quintos begins nicely and goes looking for the lead. Starship Melody moves to challenge. Starship Melody is quickest early. This key home comes away in second with Quintos in third, then Think Verde. A length back to the first time starter, Kaylin's Prayer. She's a half length better than Felisa Dades, who's two lengths better than Jamie's catch. And at the back, the trailer is Gussie Up. They move down the back stretch, chasing the sharp speed of Starship Melody. And Michael Ritvo loose up top with a five and a half length lead. From the inside now, it's Think Verde alongside this key home for second. Three and a half more to Quentos, who races in fourth at the half mile. Kaylin's Prayer follows her, followed by Felicidades, Jamie's Catch, and Gussie Up. Meanwhile, up front, Starship Melody doing it nicely at the three furlong point, still with a five-length lead. This key home is second. She's now put a distance between herself and Think Verde in third. Kalen's Prayer set down for the drive by Carlos Lugo with ten lengths to raise and less than five sixteenths to raise it. They move past the quarter pole, and they're still chasing Starship Melody. She strung out the field nicely here for the bug boy Ritvo and turns for the money three lengths on top. This key home is second. Kalen's Prayer, the first-timer, starts to find her feet now. She's third inside with an eighth of a mile to go. Starship Melody shortening up. Two length lead. This key home is second. Kalen's Prayer and Felicidades coming on late. Starship Melody still there. This key home, Kalen's Prayer gaining ground late, but not enough to catch Starship Melody. Who's in front? She wins by three parts of a length. Kalen's Prayer got running to be second. This key home was third in front of Felicidades, fourth in 126 and four. Number two, Starship Melody holds on to win for Starship Stables, trained by Steve Waskin, ridden a victory today by apprentice Michael Ridfall. We'll take a break and be back for the fifth race in just a few moments. Town and Bay in front as they hit the last 16th of a mile. 15 to one shot. Pound and Bay got it done. What a horse race here as they come to the last 16th of a mile. Lexi Lou unwavering on the lead. Lexi Lou to win the South Ocean. Pound and Bay will finish second. Sligo Bay, Canada's leading sire of two year olds and number two on the Canadian general sire list in 2013, standing at Adina Springs. Constitution. 
You too can win a life-changing bet with Express Bet's $50,000 Big Bet Sweepstakes. California Pro! This time, Express Bet is giving one lucky winner a $50,000 Big Bet on the Preakness. Plus, 52nd place winners will receive $100 to bet the races. Visit ExpressBet.com to learn more and to open an online wagering account today. Express Bet, your way to play. We're sprinting at five furlongs on the turf in our fifth race. It's a maiden event for maiden fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. Scratch the number six, queen of the spa. A couple of jockey changes on the two, it's Gabrielle Saez. On the four, it's Pedro Monterey Jr. And they're up. Checking and stumbling after the start was Gracious Humor. Good start toward the inside for the favorite, Iroquois Girl, who jets out to take a short lead. Moving up on the outside is Ruby the Heart Stealer. Widest of all is Bonnie Breeze. Then down toward the rail, it's newly fashioned from fourth. Some kind of fabulous is between horses with Sabrina out three wide. Then it's three lengths to Love My Empire, who's seven lengths better than Hillbilly Babe. Gracious Schumer is improving, and the trailer is, it's over, Johnny. They're under the top of the stretch, and the leader is Iroquois Girl. By a length and a half to Ruby the Heart Stealer, second. Bonnie Breeze is now racing third from Sabrina in fourth. Fourth, moving up on the inside is some kind of fabulous and love my empire covers ground from the back top of the lane they have the favorite to catch Iroquois girl cuts the corner and opens up Bonnie Breeze on the outside of Ruby the heart stealer for second with Sabrina and love my empire but this one's over a tour de force and a dazzling display of speed from Iroquois girl who wins by five second was Bonnie Breeze third Ruby the heart stealer in front of love my empire fourth and 55 flat mark that number three Iroquois girl as a a horse to watch. What a nice performance. Owned by James Spence. Trained by Ralph Nix. Ridden a victory today by Elvis Trujillo. Sixth race is six furlong sprint on the main track. It's an allowance optional claimer for Phillies and Mayors. Three-year-olds and up with two jockey changes on the four. It's Gabrielle Saez. On the number five, it's Ronald Hisby. And they're up. From the outside, Nifty Shindig begins nicely toward the rail. Magic Lily is showing speed. Magic Lily quickest early. Nifty Shindig is away in second, a length better than the inside horse Indian Rain, who's improving while tugging now, a half length better than Alexandra Storm, followed by Cajun Sunrise. Cajun Sunrise is a length better than True Blue Nation. Miley Soap moves up out wide, and trailing now is Chifa. They move to the far turn after the opening quarter in 22 and 2. And down on the inside, Magic Lily leads by a head. Nifty Shindig turning up the pressure second. Two and a half lengths better than Indian Rain in third. That followed by Alexandra Storm fourth. True Blue Nation improves with an inside journey, followed by Cajun Sunrise and Maylee's Hope, far back Chifa. They're under the top of the stretch. Nifty Shindig on the outside, Magic Lily on the inside. They're in lockstep. They're three lengths better than Indian Rain third. Nobody running on from the back, and they turn for home. Nifty Shindig on the outside, but Magic Lily cuts the corner and has something in reserve these two four lengths better than indian rain third there's an eighth of a mile to go magic lily tough to get by on the outside nifty shindig is second it's five lengths to cajun sunrise third coming to the wire osorio jr and magic lily spring a big upset and they win by a length and a half second was the favorite nifty shindig from cajun sunrise third it's close for fourth and 111 flat number one magic lily uses her speed to spring the upset and pays 70 $3.80 to win. Owned by Rentos Racing Stable Corporation, trained by Manny Escura, and ridden to victory today by seven pound apprentice Jose Osorio Jr. We'll take a break and be back with the late Daily Double. A love of horses and a commitment to excellence have come together in the heart of Florida's Marion County. Owned by lifelong horseman Benjamin Leon Jr., Bessie Lou Stables has assembled top notch thoroughbreds, breeding and racing the champions of today and tomorrow. Breeders' Cup winner Royal Delta has thrilled the racing world with back-to-back -back wins in the Ladies' Classic. As a multi-year sponsor of the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby, Vesilu Stables is a proud sponsor of Gulfstream Park.
Welcome back. Our seventh race of the afternoon, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. It's a claiming event for Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and up, which have never won three races. Scratch the main track only participant, number nine, Re Suentos. And they're up. Toward the inside, I Know It All is going out looking for the lead, and nobody will oppose her early. I Know It All is in front already by two. From the outside, Useful Berry is now into second from Ben Silver, who races in third. Sweet Gator Girl is next, and her outside is Expropriate. Riding the inside is Hankering, a length and a half better than Foundation, and two lengths to Bahia de Oro. They race around the opening turn, and now moving to the lead is Useful Berry and Anthony Steven. They throttle open and lead the race by two and a half. I know it all taken in hand and will let her go second. Three and a half lengths back to Ben De Silver in third. She's two and a half lengths better than Expropriate. Hankering is at the rail. In between horses, Sweet Gator Girl, a length better than the Gray Foundation. And Bahia de Oro is last of the eight as they head down the back stretch. They went through the opening quarter in a reasonable 24 and three. The half mile was picked up to 47 and four. They now move to the far turn run, chasing the speed of Useful Berry by a length and three quarters. I know it all is there second. These two have opened up four lengths on Ben De Silver in third. It's another four lengths back to the team of Expropriated Hankering. Foundation tries to get underway. Sweet Gator Girl is called in an afternoon, and Bahia de Oro continues to trail, and they run to the top of the stretch. They still have to reel in Useful Barry and Anthony Steven, who turned first on a two-length lead. Pulling up out of the race, number one is pulled up. That forces Ben De Silver wide. I know it all has gone wrong, and they're into the stretch, and Useful Barry has opened up. Useful Barry trying to spring the upset. Foundation, a fellow long shot, chases after her from second. Expropriate and hankering her next. Useful Barry is almost home. Expropriate and on the outside, Foundation. Useful Barry still there. Anthony Steven and Useful Barry, gate to wire. By a length and a quarter. It's close for second. Expropriate, Foundation, and Ben De Silver in 143 flat. Number eight, Useful Barry lights up the board and pays $102.40 to win. Owned by Rolf LLC, trained by Giannani Derichinko, and ridden to victory today by Anthony Steven. The eighth race, one mile on the turf. It's a maiden event for maiden three-year-olds and upward. Two scratches and one medication note. Scratch the seven, Simon Bar Sinister, the 11th successful runner. First time Lasix on number four. And runners away. Good start toward the inside for Gelfenstein, who gets the first call from Upper East Side, who comes away in second. Back to values on the outside is now third. A length better than Roman's Paradise with Lord Lemon to his outside. It's another two lengths back to Kitesack. Moving wide through that opening turn there is Grand Coney. Grand Coney's a length and a half, almost two and a half lengths now better than Stevie's Moonshot. And Dane's Pulpit is last of all as they run around the opening turn. They run through the opening quarter, 23 and three, and they're chasing the speed of Gelfenstein, who leads by a length to Upper East Side in second. Back to Values is now racing in third. Roman's Paradise is closed ground to be fourth. He's a half length better than the team of Lord Lemon and Kitesack. They're a length and a half better than toward the inside Grand Coney, and still at the back, the trailers, Stevie's Moonshot and Dane's Pulpit. They move now with less than a half a mile to go. They went through the half mile in 47 and two, and Gelfenstein continues to lead. Here's Luis Saez in Upper East Side in the two path, has to get a little closer second. Toward the inside and continuing to improve is Roman's Paradise. Covering ground is up around the outside, is uh, back to values. It's two and a half lengths to Grand Coney. Stevie's Moonshot is main ground from last. Meanwhile, Gelfenstein rebreaks. Gelfenstein off the top of the turn, trying to take him every jump, leads it by two. Now after him second is Gabriel Saez in Roman's Paradise, trying to bridge the gap late. Three lengths back to Upper East Side. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Gelfenstein still there. Roman's Paradise and Upper East Side on the outside. Gelfenstein still there. Two length lead. On the outside, Upper East Side is gaining, but Gelfenstein is home. Gelfenstein. Hanging on. Upper East Side ran out of racetrack second. Roman's Paradise was third in front of Stevie's Moonshot and Grand Coney to complete the high five. Mile on turf, 134 flat. Number three, Gelfenstein wins the nightcap for Gelfenstein Farm LLC, trained by Antonio Sano and ridden a victory today by Santiago Gonzalez. The pick four, 
four of four paid four thousand six hundred forty seven dollars eighty cents in the pick five only four of five paid six hundred thirteen dollars twenty cents we got a carryover going into friday of thirty four thousand nine hundred fifty four dollars and sixty cents pick six six of six nineteen thousand three hundred seventy six dollars forty four cents the carryover five million seven hundred thousand two hundred seventy two dollars and seventeen cents and here are today's claims That wraps up the Sunday card. Remember, during the spring and summer, right here at Gulfstream Park, we run Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And coming this next Friday, we'll have a two-year-old race for two-year-old fillies with 12 runners in the field. Should be a lot of fun. You got to be at Gulfstream Park. Good night and good luck.